Welcome to an alternate Hugh. I'm Hugh Anderson, and this is what caught my attention recently. I realized after I finished my last video, when I described how Mona Lisa was brutally attacked by cake, that I didn't show you the evidence. Well, here it is. That's going to be some dry cleaning bill on that centuries old frock. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs is the first line from the poem If by Rudyard Kipling, which happens to be my favorite poem. I thought you'd like to know that. And I thought this was an apt opening to this video given the current market, economic, social, and political turmoil we've all been enduring of late. You can see from this consumer stress indicator from our friends at Strategus that if you lump together the rising cost of groceries, mortgage rates, and gasoline prices, we are under a great deal of stress, even more so than the worst of the Great Recession. So if that doesn't cheer you up, think about this. According to Dave Rosenberg, interest rates are rising. Thanks, Dave. Inflation is rising. Who doesn't know that? The value of people's assets are going down. We certainly know that. And our political leadership seems utterly confounded about what to do. All of these things went into the worst consumer sentiment report since World War II, and that's saying something. The most recent numbers made fools of anyone brave enough to make a guess. And always remember, guessing is all they ever do. This most recent consumer sentiment number was the worst reading ever, and ever is a very long time. That says a lot since it was lower than the past 11 recessions. It was also widespread across age groups, income cohorts, and regions. It also exceeded the worst of the 70s, the real estate crisis of the early 90s, the 9-11 terrorist attacks, the tech wreck, the bursting of the housing and credit bubble, and the even the worst part of the pandemic lockdown phase. Consumers are telling us the recession has arrived, even though the so-called experts don't even see it yet. The U.S. economy will dip into a recession next year. This is according to nearly 70% of leading academic economists polled by the Financial Times. Well, our leading academic economists just might want to look out their window of their ivory towers. But you'll really enjoy this factoid. Our overlords in Congress are considering moving forward on legislation that includes raising taxes. Please let that sink in. Some members of Congress and the administration have convinced themselves that only tax increases can lower inflation. But you know me, I can't leave you with nothing but doom and gloom, so take a look at this. The biggest gains in the financial markets come in the year following the lowest readings in consumer sentiment. It just has to stop going down. And for now, that doesn't seem to be in the cards. So that's it for this week, but remember, our friend Rudy, I mean Rudy, excuse me, let's keep our heads on, but let's just keep them on a swivel because things are coming fast and furious. Stay well, stay prosperous, and stay optimistic. Until next time.